Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my second update for my rolling project pan. So let's get into it. Um, let's start off with my Makeover Essentials blush. Now, it looks like I barely used it. I am using it consistently. I'm still actually really enjoying it. Um, I did swatch. Oh, I just swatched the, the red side. Anyways, um, that is it there. That's the creamy color. That's the peachy. And then, of course, I blend it together on my cheek. But just to give you an idea of the color there. I have been really enjoying it, but I have to be pretty light handed with it. So it just doesn't look like I am going to be hitting pan on that in the next month. So kind of bummed out about that, but not totally surprised. Then the next item is my Mary Kay. I'm trying to hit pan on the silky caramel shade here. I have to be kind of careful because this one actually pops out on me. So <laughs> and I haven't glued it back in. So I have to be a little bit careful here, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell. I do have a really good dip in there and they're not super deep pans. So I do think I'll be able to hit pan by the finale in a month's time. I think it's gonna be a pretty close call though. I don't think I'll have much pan showing because it just, I thought I'd have pan by this update but it's kind of holding in there. Then I've got my Nantucket Nude Mini Matte Lip Crayon by Tristique. Most of the markings, even like on the packaging has worn off. So I am going to base, <laughs> go based off of my memory the best I can here and try and show you where I was at. So this is what I have left right now. That's it completely rolled up. And when I was starting, try and position this here. I was about there. Then I had used up about a half inch on the last update. And that's where I'm at right now. I am still enjoying it. That's the color there. I use it as a kind of base blush, cream blush to put my powder topper on top. And then I also use it as a base lip color. I do actually enjoy it. Not so much on its own. It still feels kind of weird. But uh, underneath something like a more nourishing gloss, it actually really works quite well for me. I don't mind it at all. Not sure if I'm going to finish it off though by the next month. So we'll see. Then I've got my Guerlain Lingerie de Pew pressed powder in light beige essentially. There was not much left the last update and there is nothing left now. Uh, not a surprise I'm sure for anyone because I was pretty well done it on the last update. There was really not much left. So finish that off, really excited. I'm probably gonna keep the pan out of this just uh, cause it's kinda nice to have spare pans here and there to press things into. So I'll probably still keep the pan, but I'm still excited that the powder is finished. <laughs> then we've got my Smashbox Lip Trio. This is the Lip Brilliance in Transparencies. And ta-da! I know there's little bits here and there, but honestly, that's pretty well cleaned out in my opinion. Uh, there was about half left on the last update. I finished it off. <laughs> so really enjoyed it. It was not a bad color by any means. I'm glad that I finished it off while we were still in summer. And then I think what I will do is work on these darker shades come fall and winter and such and just end up finishing this whole thing off. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. It was fine. It's They smell awful. Like they all smell really bad and it's weird. But uh, the actual consistency and the product itself was quite nice. So because this is a rolling project pen and I finished two items, I am going to be adding two items in. I didn't go too crazy because it's done in a month's time. So these aren't huge items. Um, I got my Annabelle Brow Show. I am just going to be trying to finish off the brow section here not not the highlight because there's quite a bit left of that but i think i will be able to finish that off in a month's time i do use it every day so i think that's doable and then i did pan one of these prior in another project and i hated it so i decided to do it again <laughs> um this is the lip palette from revlon in chatty cherry they are so gummy and sticky and gross but might be doable. I paired this on top of, oh, I can't open it. I paired this on top of a more oily lip balm. So not one that's quite as waxy, but more like it actually feels like kind of greasy, which might sound gross, but 
really nice and moisturizing. I paired this on top of a lip balm like that and it kind of melded together in a way that this was less goopy and gross and it just felt more smooth and silky and I think I'm going to be able to use it that way. So, anywho, long story short, I took my lip brush and I carved out a little quarter section here. I am not going to attempt to pan this whole thing because I only have a month and then this has been barely used. But I am going to try and finish off this section here. I still think it's going to be a pretty close call if I'm going to be able to do that in a month, but I am motivated now. I finished off one lip gloss. I am so motivated to get this one started at least and hopefully get some good progress on it. So yeah, my overall goal is to finish off five projects, products <laughs> by the end of this project and I'm two down, three more to go. It's going to be a pretty close call so I'm not sure if I'm going to get there but we'll see. I'll see you in a month's time. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. See ya. Bye.